water my little garden and I thought I'd bring you guys along and give you a quick view of what's going on right now um, things are starting to pop <laughs> uh, you know there's a lot of things that didn't come up that I was hoping would come up of course because I planted them right um, but as you can see I, I am having a lot of action a lot of float my flowers my zinnias are coming up um like all of these whoops all of these are just going to be popping here pretty soon zinnias and my kale has come back i've eaten so much of that and now it's starting to come back again and on this side the asparagus back here is still popping i got some gladiolus popping over here just everything is just coming my mums are looking gorgeous. More zinnias. We got basil. Basil. And some more basil. And then over here we have um, chamomile and we got some tomatoes. So yeah. Uh, and then I think my favorite thing this season is just all my uh, black-eyed Susans this year are just glorious. This little patch I created from one wild one that I got from like right th in this area. There's still another bunch right there. So after they dried, I took them and I shook them out all over here. And this is what happened. And I am just beyond excited with how gorgeous this has come out. Um, so yeah more zinnias and then all of this is seed from spinach that I let go and I am just leaving it because I've been picking it and pulling it and eating it in my salads so let's walk around to the back and I'll show you guys back here we have some very lanky sunflower seeds here's the little patch this thing is getting crazy too so I'm gonna Try transplanting these over here and hopefully they'll do okay. But look at this sunflower seed. We got some acorn squash right here, but look at this. I'm gonna start getting some sunflowers. Ooh, and I got bugs. Some kind of leaf hopper here. But yeah, my sunflowers are going. We got um, pumpkins here. Grapes, tomatoes, and some kind of a, I think those are cucumbers. This is a compost bin. <laughs> this is my new compost bin. And then over here, oh well, here we have more acorn squash and pumpkins. And then over here, of course, my onion beds. And then I think I dropped a zucchini or cucumber seed in there but yeah this is just glorious so at this point of the season when I already know what's gonna what was successful and what wasn't successful I start to plant in the bald spots if you will so all those big blank areas that aren't walkways or pathways I'll start filling in with more seed, um, same for this area here, you know, my mint is here, and then this part right here is sage. So I'll just start filling in all these little areas. Um, like here, I already put some garlic here and all of that. This is the asparagus patch, so not too much goes in there. Although I'm going to start interplanting more asparagus in these field in this section here. So that is what's happening in the garden, and now I'm just going to water it's really humid and muggy today 
Um, but we're not anticipating any rain until I think tomorrow night. So I do need to give everybody a drink because <laughs> it was really hot today. So um, that is all I have for you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Well, it's Tuesday. And hopefully this isn't too dark. But um, I am just coming out here to do my evening watering. And to plant these couple of pots that I bought. So those are Bonnie's organic, um, those are jalapenos that I bought today at Home Depot. Five dollars for those little pots. So yeah, I won't be doing that again, but I didn't, I just wanted a little extra, you know, plant and I, that's what happens. <laughs> you don't pay attention to the price. I thought they were three fifty, but no, they were not. So be careful when you go over there. <laughs>